There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here? Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Lemon, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. We are right on the level. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting! Oh! Has led you here. Okay, so you barely see him in there, but Brad Pitt is somewhere in that ensemble cast. He stars as an assassin in this new action movie. Uh, let's bring in Richard Krause, uh, who I've seen so many trailers for this film, Richard, mm -hmm. and it seems kind of like they want a Quentin Tarantino guy Richie vibe going on here. That's exactly it. That's what I say in my review here. You would think mm -hmm. that a movie that is inspired by, it has to be, uh, Quentin Tarantino and Guy Ritchie, that stars the most charismatic actor working in movies right now, Brad Pitt, that's directed by the guy that made uh, Deadpool, uh, Deadpool 2 and did the fight choreography for the John Wick movies, would be more fun than it actually is. This is the story of a train full of assassins, a mysterious briefcase full of money, uh, uh, and uh, a killer, a psychotic killer named the White Death. And all these elements kind of come together in a way that should be a whole lot more fun than it actually is. But instead, uh, it just feels like you've seen a lot of it before. It feels like you've been there and done that. And even though it zips along rather quickly, it just never really all comes together. So I gave it two out of five stars. Ooh. That's one for each of Brad Pitt's dimples. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's still got those going for him. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about Ron Howard's latest film. I just love him as a director, and this story captured the attention, as you know, Richard, in our newsroom, mm -hmm. but all around the world. 13 Lives. Let's look at a clip it's first, easy, maybe. When it's flooded, it's impossible. No clip? Okay, then let's let you tell us about it. Yeah, this is Ron Howard's new film. You'll find it on Amazon Prime uh, starting today. And it's the story of the 2018 uh, disaster where 12 soccer players and their coach were trapped in Thailand in a series of underground uh, caves. And it, this is their, the rescue mission that was launched. And it was an audacious one. Uh, the monsoon season came early. There was a real danger of flooding and uh, making these caves, this network of caves, very claustrophobic, uh, making them impassable. Certainly uh, difficult for adults, but trying to have an adult diver carry out a child was going to be very, very difficult. So they came up with a plan to sedate the young soccer players so that they wouldn't, I guess, essentially freak out during this very claustrophobic trip to the surface. And this is a movie that gives you the details that you need to know about the situation, about uh, the, the country, the families, and then in the second half of the movie really focuses on the rescue mission. And this isn't uh, a big rescue movie. Of course, the, the rescue itself is extraordinary, but this isn't a movie where people make big speeches and there's a lot of backslapping. This is a movie about the careful planning and the really remarkable execution of that plan uh, to get these children to the uh, surface safely. Uh, Ron Howard does a great job here. I mentioned the word claustrophobia at least once or twice. If you are claustrophobic, as I am, you might want to look away occasionally because uh, the, the recreation of those cave diving scenes is so realistic that it might uh, trigger something in you. It's called 13 Lives. I gave it three and a half out of five stars, and it's on Amazon Prime right now. Wow. Okay. 20 seconds only, Richard, to talk about Prey. If you're a fan of the Predator films, this is the best one in years, set 300 years ago in the Comanche Nation. Uh, it's the story of an extraterrestrial who comes to Earth to go hunting, and there's a pushback. Uh, it's gory, it's bloody, it has all the stuff that you expect from a Predator film. It's on Disney+, Plus, and this comes with my annual reminder that just because something's on Disney+, Plus doesn't mean it's for the whole family. I gave it three and a half out of five stars, and you can watch it this weekend. Good stuff, Richard. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Richard Krauss.